And welcome back, Gamer Nation. SKS here with another episode of Long Live the Queen. Our skills are coming around pretty well right now, but I, there's a lot of things I need to learn. I think this time we're going to... work on maybe dance and on military strategy. Though sense magic may be a good one too. Let's get a little bit of dance so that can help us. And then um, not expression. What is expression under? Instrument voice. Oh, okay. So we're doing dance and one point fifteen. I still need to get a little bit in sense magic. That's just something that just seems like it would be a good one. What about intrigue? Can I do anything with that? Oh, it's plus one too. Ciphering would be a good one. God, there's so much good stuff, but I hardly have this lumen. No, I need intrigue. I need I need to get that up. Let's see what the nobles and other citizens are up to, what other countries are up to, learning to read and write secret information, internal affairs. Okay. Agility dance. No, we're not gonna be dancing for a while. Stop that. Stop that SKS. Do something that's better. Um Economics sucks ass. Maybe since magic for the top one. Oh, I bet I can't do that because I don't have her jewel. Unless I'm just not seeing it. Because what's it under? Um, mystical. Faith and Lumen. Yeah, because it would be right here. So I, I, I cannot do that one right now. So military. So the strategy may be what I need to do. Because something tells me I'm going to have to get ready to fight. Soon enough. Alright, here we go. You study the effects of battle stress on troops. Now morale can turn the tide of battle. You study military management and the importance of training and motivating and making soldiers who could trust and depend on each other. Ah. Until you have children of your own, your maternal uncle, the Duke of Merva, is next in line for the crown, and after him would be his daughter, your cousin Charlotte. So that's telling me I need to have kids. It is the time of the year to decide any necessary adjustments to the royal... Oh, Jesus Christ. I have not done anything on economics. The majority of the money we receive is already spoken for, but there is always room for some discretion. I really don't understand all these numbers. Uh, lower taxes, keep them the same. Uh, let's keep them the same. I think they're fine as they are. As you wish. <laughs> Alright, what do we need? Uh, afraid could be good. Lonely and afraid. Oh, that, that actually could help well. You wander through the parts of the castle where other people rarely visit, but find little except spider webs. Yuck. All right, what can we do now? Bonus to military. So again, we're going to do strategy. And bonus to intrigue. I definitely need to learn internal affairs. So we're still on the same thing. So awesome. We're off to a good start on this episode. I'm happy. You learn about how units reinforce each other in the field, gaining strength through proximity and covering of weaknesses. You now tour the barracks on weekends. Awesome. Your maternal uncle's wife, the Countess Nix, claims kinship to the Merva line and originally asked your mother for the title of the duchy. However, no one could verify her lineage. As a compromise, your mother created her brother, Duke of Merva. The last Duke of Mead was the older half-brother, blah, blah, blah. His reign was brief, but scandalous. He retired in disclusion and still died unwed. Sad. But we're learning. You're requested to stand in judgment. A man has been convicted of the murder by strangling of his wife. He does not deny the act, but requests a pardon that he might be set free. If you admit you killed your wife, why do you think I'm going to set you free? Save me, your majesty. It wasn't my fault. Demons made me do it. 
Everyone knows the power of magical beasties. They used me. They twisted my fingers into chains. Okay, you called them beasties. That means you're on a friendly basis with them, so fuck you. My wife found me screaming. She tried to shake me and the chains wrapped around her. I need the priestesses to bless me and make me clean again. Demons that make you attack people. Is that even possible? Execute him! I don't care whether there were demons or not. You're still a murderer and your life is forfeit. You will be hanged in public as a deterrent to future criminals. He opens his mouth to argue with you further, but then his shoulders slump. Yes, your majesty. Yeah! Minus one willful, willful plus pressured. So willful we do need to bring down, and pressured we can tinker with some. So yeah, we'll tour the barracks. You're impressed by the discipline of the Novan troops, but the responsibility for their lives weighs heavily on your shoulders. There are approximately ten battalions under your direct command. Well, we definitely need to deal with that. Why don't I have any other clothes? I want other clothes. I feel like I should be able to buy clothes. Ah, cancel. No, I don't want that. Alright, let's see what we can do here. We need to do military logistics right now. That seems like a great one to do. Military logistics, because I'm going to be able to take care of my enemies. And internal affairs still, that, that's a big one. I've got to know what's going on in my kingdom, because damn it, I'm going to run it right. Let's see, you learn about the types of amounts of food required for an army on the march, how long they will remain edible. The Duke of Marie has paid suit to the Duchess of Ursul, blah blah blah. Your agent suspected the Duchess of Ursul is actually more interested in the Duchess of Hellas. Neither has ever been linked to a man. Huh. You receive word of an unfortunate incident at the gallows where the man you judged was sent to be executed. As he was led to the platform, he suddenly lashed out with explosive magical power, killing several guards and spectators before making his escape. The population is buzzing with rumors of a secret cable of evil lumens who sacrifice innocents in their dark rituals. Well, now. Alright, so I like where these are. Let's go talk to my sister. My father says I can't have the crystal until I'm queen, so we'll just have to wait. There may not be time to wait. The world is filled with dangers and you need the powers of the lumen to fight them. You can't begin training until you have bonded with your crystal. Well, what else am I supposed to do about it? The crystal is probably held under guard in the royal treasury. You are the princess. You should be able to find a way inside. Otherwise, we might have to take drastic action. What drastic action? What do you mean? Let's hope it doesn't come to that. Try to reach the crystal. If you can't, come and talk to me again. I feel like she's leading me down the wrong path. Let's see. Intrigue, military. So again, we're going to do... Yeah, we definitely need to do uh, intrigue. Or... Let's do foreign intelligence. And on the other one, I could have just changed that, I guess. I feel like military, we should do. I think I just flipped these. I don't know why I did that. More logistics. Yeah, let's get that up. What? What do you mean no class selected? I totally selected military, logistics, history, foreign affairs. Uh-oh, what have we done? Damn it, I hit the wrong one, didn't I? Well, fuck me. All right, you study the kinds of equipment that soldiers need available, such as bedding, weapons, armor, medicine, blah, blah, blah. You study the different kinds of transport, animals, wagons, sledges, boats, and boots. 
I regret to inform you that Fabian, the Earl of Titan and Duke Relief of Elith, has passed away. This isn't really a surprise. He was pretty old. The problem is the political implications. With the control of Elith in doubt, it falls to the crown to make decisions. Young Lord Adair will not reach his 15th birthday for over two years. He requires a regent. His stepmother, Reese, the Duchess Alella, has petitioned that the boy be left in her care. This would, however, leave her in personal control of two neighboring duchies, which is generally forbidden. Ah, almost the entire eastern border. Oh, shit. I don't know anything really bad about her, though. The boy does have a living grandfather, the Earl Ishtar, or you might appoint an unrelated noble to act in his steed. The Earl of Ishtar has suggested another possibility. You and Adar are both young age, not too far in part in age. He requests that we accept the boy as your future husband and keep him here at the castle. Ah. Let's send him to his grandfather. The Earl of Ishtar is the closest blood relation to Adair has. He should be his regent. As you wish. We're making friends all over the place. Ah, do we have minus... Oh, we can visit the treasury. Oh, I don't want to go there. I know what that leads to. Let's see. Willful and pressured. Let's see. We're back here looking at the soldiers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, what face is that? That is constipation and a half. She is pressured. Faith. Good lord. And athletics. Athletics is not really that high. Alright, on faith, we're definitely going to do... Meditation. Actually, now would be the time to do lore, maybe. And then the next one? It may be time to get the agility to the dance up. Let's do that. I'm making such a well-rounded person. You still learn to a polished crystal ball and relax, letting your mind wander. You close your eyes and visualize the crystal ball floating in front of your eyes. Alright, so that's up. You practice curtsying, standing, and walking across the floor in a graceful manner. There's a woman here to see you. She is a musician and wishes crown patronage. Oh god, I don't know anything about music. Which means money. Your Royal Highness, if you accept me as a member of your court, I will immortalize you in word and song. I have dabbled in musical styles from many countries and can entertain your guests and lighten your evenings. Damn it. Musicians are often used as secret agents and messengers. They can be useful and dangerous. The musician sings a little dirty to demonstrate her skills with the lutes. Oh, a little ditty. <laughs> you can tell where my mind is. Instrument plus void equals fail. She's actually pretty good. Let's accept her. Let's be different. Very well, you can remain as part of my court. I will do my best for you. Alright. We need to get rid of some pressure. Everything's pressure. Plus one depressed. Lonely will help. Yielding, lonely, cheerful. Now that's a good one. We'll do that. We'll play with toys. Hey, and she's back. She is cheerful today. So we need to work on conversation. So probably flattery, because that's the highest one. Or the lowest one, excuse me. And... God, military sucks right now. I might actually do public speaking also. Just to get them both up. Let's max them out. You learn that flattering comments have the best impact when kept short. Gushing makes people feel awkward. You learn that it is always better to compliment people for their personality and their choices than their physical attributes. I've unlocked a new outfit! Damn straight! Your teacher asks you questions about made-up nonsense, pushing you to improvise answers smoothly and swiftly without having to worry about them being correct. You read collections of famous historical speeches and practice saying them in convincingly dramatic fashion. I do that every day at school. You receive a letter from young Lord Adair. 
It is an extremely formal letter for such a little boy, thanking you for your wisdom and allowing him to live with his grandfather, who probably dictated every word he wrote. How about that? We need to get depressed and lonely. I don't want to be afraid, really. I think this won't be a good one. Let's sneak out of the castle. Ah, she's got that look. She's willful. I like it. And look at the military. Holy shit. Um, let's max out logistics. That is what I was looking for, people. That is what I wanted. And weapons. I may... Well, conversation. Oh, intrigue. I can do foreign intelligence now. We have to know what's going on. Awesome. This should turn out great. Let's see. You learn more about the support costs created by support. Blah, blah, blah. You learn the difficulty in attaining new supplies from the field. Enemy civilians may hide or destroy supplies rather than let them fall in your hands. Ah, so we have to increase the rest of that. The current Duke of Sydney is 26 years old and unmarried. He might be considered a good marriage prospect for you if you desire stronger ties with the domain of Telus. I will have to look for somebody soon. Staring up in the sky of your window, you notice a strange flash of light. Oh, Jesus. A falling star. Pretty. She's so stupid. Why can I not make her stronger? Depressed and yielding. There's a good one. Alright, so maybe that will balance. I'm trying to make everything balanced out as close as I can. But uh, we'll just have to see. Oh, military took a hit there. My conversation. Oh, my lord. That. I feel that's almost too good to pass up. Public speaking and court manners can fly up right now. So we're going to do that. She's going to know how to talk. You borrow the menu for an upcoming banquet and practice delivering it as a dramatic speech to an audience of confused chambermaids. <laughs> That's pretty good. Wow, 22.9. You learn about debate techniques and practice them by trying to convince a castle gardener why a new fountain would be a good idea. Let's say you memorize the correct... That 22.9, that's amazing. You memorize the correct title for every servant in the castle, treating servants with respect and serves good service. To directly challenge someone's honor is to declare war. Never make a public accusation of cowardice, treason, infidelity, or murder unless you prepare to face mortal enemies. And on that note, you study the etiquette of dueling. <laughs> As a monarch, you've expected to embody the virtues of honesty, bravery, and generosity. You should always offer aid to those in need. Yeah. I have unpleasant news to report. I dare the young Lord of Eleth has been assassinated. What? What? She said the same thing. He was shot with a crossbow while playing on the grounds of his grandfather's estate. How did this happen? Where were the guards? This is not the first time such events have happened within the realm of Ishtar. The Earl of Ishtar's first wife and oldest daughter also died of under mysterious circumstances. Then his older daughter married young and died giving birth to Adair. With Adair dead, the only family he has left is his second wife and their son Connor, who's 15. Blame no one. No matter what we do, things keep going wrong. Then there is the matter of the Duchy of Eleth. By blood, the nearest living heir is Tellers, the Duke of Sedna and Talasi. Partial, there have been marriages between Alice and Sedna in the past. He could really be he he really could be the last heir. Alath is a major duchy. You cannot afford to lose control of it. We're going to name a Novian here. As queen, I have the right to pass the lands of an extinct bloodline to a new ruler. Like my mother did with Uncle Lariant and Merva. Terrorist is an only distantly related and he's foreign. He doesn't count. Who should inherit the duchy of Alath then? Hmm. There are a few noble families with a lot of children. Too many to inherit all the existing titles. Aris, the Duchess of Lilith, has six children and the oldest three already have lands. That's Kevin. Blah, 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 blah. That leaves three others who are all a few years older than me. The Duke and Duchess of Kegel have seven children. Oh, my God. Lindley, who I danced with at the ball. And they're all Arissa's grandchildren through their mother. So either way, it would be her line. 
a random commoner. Let's pick this one. The Duchess of Lilith has so many children. Let her pick one for Leth. Very well. Oh my god. We've we've screwed up so many things. Let's do angry. Oh, she's she's pissed today. She's pressured. Let's change her outfit. Oh, that's it's amazing. It's a new outfit. I am very, very ecstatic about that. Mistakes have been made, but it's all worth it at the end of the day when we have a new outfit. Um, I don't think she likes it because she looks like she's ready to shit herself, but anyway, let's see what we can do. Faith can go up, military, holy crap, conversation. We're awesome, oh, it's our dress, oh, okay, I get it. I think right now, though, we need to work on... I really want to get this medicine up. Then again, foreign intelligence should be one. And then the next one should be... That's, that's not what I wanted to do at all. Um, <laughs> the next one should be probably faith and the lore to get some points on the board for that. Now we got 14 on that one. Only a Lumen can channel magic, blah, blah, blah. And tw wow, 20 on that one. When you get the two, you're really rolling it. I have more unpleasant news. Oh, my God. Soldiers from Talas have crossed the border into a leather, pushing towards the ducal seat. The duke has said to insist that he is the rightful heir and the territory belongs to him. Your newly appointed duke requests additional military support and supplies. Sigh. No shit. Fine. Whatever. You also have some letters. Another letter from Brandy. Why does she keep writing me? We were never even friends. She said she's bored and lonely and she's looking forward to seeing me at Gwinnell's birthday party. That's right, Gwinnell is about to turn 15. She'll be the Duchess of Sudbury for real now. The other letter must be my invitation to her birthday celebration next week. Gwinnell and I were friends at school and this will be a big event, but it's also a long way to travel. A lot of things can happen on the road. Um, we'll go to the party. It'll be good to see my friends. Uh, we need to bring the pressure. We need to feel lonely. Alright. And I think that's where we'll stop it today. We are, uh, right now, we're cheerful. And our skills, I can work on... I'm going to work on conversation. I'm probably going to get flattery up there and public speaking maxed out. But we'll have to see next time, gamers. As always, I hope you liked the video. I'm really getting into this game. I really did not think I would, but it's starting to really make me happy in the pants. As always, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Good night, gamers.